By now, you've stored multiple scenes or updated the current scene you are working on. This will be a good time to store all console settings to a USB drive. The work is done and you don't want to lose it. Let's make a backup file on your USB stick. Take a USB stick and plug it into either USB port. Doesn't matter which one. Just make sure you select on screen which USB port the drive is in. The DM7 will recognize FAT32 or XFAT format. The DM7 can format the drive if necessary. Please make sure no needed files are on the drive since formatting will erase any data. Go to the utility screen in the main bay. If you do not see the home menu, press home at the upper right hand corner of the utility screen. Press the save load icon. This will open up the save load screen and display any files currently on the USB drive. In order to back up your console settings to a USB, you will press the save button. This will bring up the option to save all console data. This is everything, including scenes, global parameters, IO device setup, etc. If you press the arrow icons, it will allow you to choose specific data groups as options, but in most cases, you will want to choose the all setting since you can load individual group parameters, including scenes from an all data file. Next, press save. A pop-up keyboard appears. Here you can name the file and add comments for reference and press OK. Now press save. It will begin to write to the drive, which is indicated by the access indicator under the USB selector in the utility screen. Do not pull the USB drive anytime you see the access indicator in the screen. This is the console's way of telling you it's still writing to the drive. If you do, then you run into the risk of corrupting your file and you won't know it until you load that file in the future and it'll say not readable. Even though the screen may have reverted back to a default view, Anytime the word access appears where the clock shows in the utility screen, it is still writing data. Now that we've got that backed up, I would also suggest taking the file and storing it in the cloud or email it to yourself. Put it somewhere else other than just on your computer. Saving it in multiple places gives you peace of mind in case of an emergency like a guest engineer loading their file and wiping out all of your settings.